Detroit become human. Good morning. I see you haven't slept very well. Based on the circles around I your think eyes. Your saved game is corrupted. Just kidding. That is not funny. That is not funny. Sarah. What's her name? Did she ever tell us her name? Becky. The level of detail in this girl's face alone and her eyes. Unreal. Disgusting. I would like the screens to not be so blazing bright every time we start. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're starting with Marcus. Didn't I make a... I did make a prediction. Did I say it was going to be Marcus? I thought it was Marcus or Kara. Kara. If I say Kara one more time. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 oh, years. Oh, we did go to the art every show. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. Really? All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. It's fair. Come I on, let's have a drink. Yeah. The excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Can I do something with the birds first? Is my... No. I don't think so. Also, I never noticed the, the zebra on the floor. Ooh. <laughs> I'm just amazed at the look at that. That turn? That ain't bad. Scotch, neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. <laughs> I think that's my only option is to pour it. I'm surprised there's not more on the bar cart, to be honest. Does he have Marcus drink with him? Ken? I guess, I don't know. I guess it wouldn't matter, right? It would just go, do they have? Uh, no, they Did wouldn't have it. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Was Call the police. A dark Detroit and stormy police. night. What's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. Let's go check it out. I wonder if the patrol cars are AI or it's a human, human led. Uh, let me just make sure there's nothing else I can do. Let's see his medication. Choosing the one time it's not important for exploring. Yeah. The aquarium thing is really cool. It honestly looks like an actual aquarium, not the TV. Reminds me of those, um, Oh, they have those TVs that are like, look like artwork, and you can even buy a frame that makes it look even more like a piece of art, rather than a TV. The giraffe. Oh, his son. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Oh gosh, oh no. Oh God. Advise, order, reason. Advise. Listen, you should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special oh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't- Leave him alone! Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, do I... don't defend yourself, you hear me? I was gonna say, do I even have it in my- Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! This must be when I break two. Ah. Stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy! Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! I don't have to obey them. I must decide for myself. I love the... Do I... What happens if I don't do it? I guess you probably have to. I see the time going. 
You can see his slow thoughts as that is happening. I kind of want to do nothing. I, I want to... I know... I don't think there's an option. I think it's going further. No, do you have to choose to disobey? You do. The blue bar at the bottom, right? I guess all of them have to reach their breaking point at some This is so cool how they illustrate this. This is not non-negotiable, right? I also like that it's not one quick blow, like they make you feel it, like you have to push past it multiple times. No. Oh right, that's right, I forgot you're not a real person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic! Oh, no! No. I'm gonna destroy you. Then it'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit. You know why? Because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. I'm enduring. I'm enduring. Oh, I'm just enduring. Uh, 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 so he's having a heart attack? Carl, no! Uh, mm -hmm. Carl. Carl. It was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Look, he's crying. Remember, Marcus, don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. This is all your wow. fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. Uh, yeah. I mean, I guess there's some reality behind that because of his jealousy for my relationship with the him. The android. Who's the android? <sighs> Broken. Self-control trophy. Yeah, I stuck it. I stuck it out. I know we had the ability. What I did like that they offered you right there is you didn't have to break out, right? Well, no, you had to break through no matter what, but they still gave you the choice to decide to push back or to endure. And for me, I just, I wanted to stay with enduring because one, Carl, like, I think there were signs that he was starting to have a heart attack to begin with, right? Like, you start to see him falter um, really early on. And I wanted to respect my relationship with Carl. Do I owe him anything? No. But even just in that last moment, right, him calling him dad, take it for how it is. Like, obviously, like, he was his android. Whatever you see in that situation, Marcus looked at him. He had emotions towards him. And I like to think that if we weren't controlling Marcus... I kind of think he would have endured it. I really do. Um, you know, who's to say? Because we are controlling it at the end of the day. But I like how they forced us to break through. Like I said, we had to do it multiple times um, to break that barrier. And then once you did, it was still a choice. And I liked every time that his son pushed us a little bit, uh, Leo. Every time Leo pushed us, you could see Marcus's thoughts. Like you could see him be like, oh, what was it? Like, obey do not push back this isn't fair i need to make my own choice yeah a very amazing escalation but also cool getting to see it unfold i think this was probably wait hold on we saw Kara break through right we've seen Kara break through we have not seen connor which i think connor's is going to be holding on till the very end yeah just because of everything we know about his training and stuff like that but so Kara was the first one for us to see have that breaking point Something about this one feels more impactful, maybe because Kara was breaking out for her love for the child, the fear for the situation. It was still stemmed from love, I suppose, because it was her love for the daughter that caused her, her protectiveness, whatever it was. This situation, too, he broke free because of his love for Carl. 
love conquers all no just kidding but i mean it's that and then also fighting for himself too right like realizing like being able to distinguish right from wrong and in that situation i like how leo's like this is all your fault because to some extent a lot of leo's issues clearly stemmed from jealousy of carl's relationship with his android right with marcus but i mean there's so much more to there too i mean leo seems like a little his character is much more complicated than we get a glimpse into and so i'm not trying to i guess cast too much judgment on it because we don't know there was a lifetime before uh we come into the scene and we get to see what pushed leo to the edge completely but we can tell there's this building animosity towards marcus um and the relationship that they have together so it's really cool to see that uh check studio with carl there was something else that i could have done and i guess i didn't do check the studio with carl i did call the cops though i thought that was the optional one okay confront leo break mind palace which is the only option marcus becomes deviant and then we chose to obey carl carl dies of a heart attack police arrive leo accused marcus i actually do think maybe i got the i think i got the opposite ending i think i pushed him back yeah i don't think i obeyed carl before and if i'm right i think carl dies either way yeah for marcus's story to progress carl must die no matter what i wonder what that one blocked off one was oh let's see the world stats too 68 percent complete i hate how <laughs> i hate how it shows like the percent completed based off of the fact that you didn't choose one route like that was a i had to pick one or the other anyway it should be like i think the percent complete should be based off of all the like did you fully explore like did you get the other locked thing if that makes sense but okay 72 percent of players checked studio with carl oh i guess maybe you can wait lot maybe you can wait it out and just not check it and then maybe leo breaks into the middle floor room possibly i don't know uh 50 percent of players obeyed carl think about that 50 percent of people obeyed carl till the end and 50 percent decided to push back i mean that's an even split obviously multiple playthroughs taken into consideration um trying to get all the outcomes whatever it is but 50 50 is a really interesting stat for that situation i stand by my decision to stay loyal to carl till the end because Carl, I think, I mean, even in his last words, like, stay true to who you are. Basically something along those lines, right? Uh, don't let anybody tell you who you are. Carl saw something. Like, he realized this was greater than technology, you know? Like, there was more beyond the human eye. And, and he saw that. I think that's telling of just an artistic person in general you see outside the box right like you don't just play within the limitations of reality and uh what you see right like you guide by a little bit more than just sight alone so very cool okay sorry i know that was a huge discussion but November why'd you 6th. kill him what happened before you took that knife oh that's right i couldn't choose against this i had to turn him in no matter what as a reminder how long were you in the attic? Like a month, right? Why don't you even try to run away? Say something, goddammit! <laughs> Fuck it. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. <laughs> I guess they can't do anything to make him talk, right? Like, nothing in his programming or anything? We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. Let you me always talk try to roughing it up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, oh. smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. I think it's important to note the side characters that they use in these games too, because they usually are trying to either represent like a closed-mindedness, certain person or certain perspective. 
Um, but it also makes the story more well-rounded, and it gives you other point of views besides just your protagonists. All right. Also, it was really cool. Did you see on the on the mirror? It shows all of the data up there. That's really useful when you're doing like an interrogation like this. I'm supposing. All right, let's peep at him. Anything on his legs? We already see he's pretty far damaged. I mean, that must have been maybe prior to the breaking point as well. Let me walk around completely. Maybe look at his backside, possibly. No, you can't L1. The music. Oh. Whoa, I can look at myself again. What the fuck is it doing now? So can I, is it either I sit down? Can I? Okay, so I can either sit or browse the file. Let's browse the file. Mm. Yes! Look at him again. What's on his arm on the left side? It's like markings or is it maybe rope? It's like an imprint, right? On the left side. I'm not noticing something with this L1. Right? Don't I always have to, like, scan around? Let me try looking from as many angles as possible. Do I need to scan, maybe? Let me scan. There we go. Extract confession. Gather clues. Find something. Something. Dark side. Alright, I see that's my next option. Let me see that again. Find appropriate approach, yeah. Okay. I mean, there's only so many things in a box. <laughs> Analyze first. This was before... Yeah, wait, oh. Non-critical damage level two caused by a baseball bat. Okay, that was mid, mid fight. Right, the baseball bat. Dry blood. Or teases. Yeah, 19 days. Okay, it was 19 days, not a month. Burn marks? Ash. Yeah. Repeated marking over 16 months caused by cigarettes. Oh. Model, HK400, housekeeper. 2030, property of Carlos Ortiz. The way that it says property. Signs of software instability, probability of self-destruction low. All right, so I think if it's yellow, maybe that means low self-destruction. Maybe when it gets red. Uh, can I not? I guess so, okay. Reach optimal stress for confession. Level of stress, 35%. Okay, we can do this. We have everything unlocked. I don't think we start with fear. But I also don't think we want to... Let's go with name first. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Avoid it. Back. I should ask name later. I would say show photos. You guys know I wouldn't be good at interrogation. You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed. 28 times. That was written on the wall in his blood. There we go, there we go. Level of stress. Still too low. Oh, I could have gone with any of those routes. I should have gone with his wounds. Because that would have brought up, if he is doing emotional responses, that would have brought up uh, emotional, yeah. Comfort, reassure, threaten. I'm trying to get his stress up, right? So I would say... Are you sure? I'm not going to hurt you. That's not up in stress, I just stress, need though. to ask you some questions. So we can understand what happened. Yeah, I need to stop comforting him. Why am I trying to do the, like, reasonable... I think we just need to, like... Threaten? I guess I just need to... 
Because this level of stress is not going to go up if I'm sympathizing. This is so counter to what you want to do because I want to have him trust us from one android to another. If I'm threatening him, how is that any different than what the detective was doing? Lieutenant. Let me see what happens you when I threaten. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. There we go, there we go. Okay, so we just have to be an asshole. That's fine. Probe memory. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, there we please go. don't do that. I find it interesting this is the method. What? What are they gonna do to me? What if this is all a lie? What if you don't actually have to get his stress up? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. What if you don't have to go the stressful route? Why did you tell them you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I, I can't. Choose approach. Okay, so I, I do have... Pressure it, probe its memory, convince it. <sighs> I'm sitting here and I'm overthinking it, but I'm like, did I even have to stress him out? What if he would have answered if I hadn't gone the stress route? Obviously the stress route is probe its memory. Or we pressure, or we convince it. If I pressure him, he's gonna pop. If I probe his memory, it feels just absolutely violating but we'll get more answers and I don't think convincing it is the route we need to go my heart it's telling me to pressure it twenty eight stab wounds you didn't want to leave him a chance huh did you feel anger hate he was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again Wait, and I think again. I need to stop, please. right? Because if he goes, okay. Please leave me alone. But he'll self-destruct. I know you killed him. Why don't you say it? Please, please stop. He's going to self-destruct, right? Just say I killed him. Is it that hard to say? Stop it, stop. Please. I want to try this. I just want to try this. Please leave me alone. All right. I just want All to try right. this. Everything is going to be okay. I don't know if I'm good cop or bad cop. Don't look at me like that. Optimal level of stress. Right. Okay. Okay. We saved it. We saved the situation. Okay. We saved the situation. I think he almost was going to explode. You got to push him right to the edge, but not quite. <laughs> convince. Should we try to convince? Understanding. I understand how it's gonna you felt. reduce his stress. You were overcome by anger and frustration. No one can blame you for what happened. We're still optimal. We're still optimal. Sympathize. Indifferent. Be indifferent, though. Okay, then. Don't talk. I don't know what approach I'm taking. <laughs> what do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder. I'm trying to keep him right? the optimal level. If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Okay, we're too high, too high, too high. Take it back, take it back. Convince failed? That was the last one? What was I supposed to sympathize? I'm not no! getting anywhere. I give up. No, I, uh, yeah, I really, oh, no. can I actually give up though? Can I keep pushing? 
Leaves? It says leave. I should have just probed his memory. I thought that was going to lead him to self-destruction, though. I think... Real quick, let me just assess this. One, I kept not knowing how much further we were going to take it before the end of the interrogation was going to happen. That is such a, like, I guess I should have just played back and forth, like, sympathize, then threaten. Sympathize, then threaten. I should have just kept going classic bad cop, good cop, back and forth. I know. I'm, I'm so disappointed by that. At least he didn't self-destruct, though. I think that would have been the worst one. Chris, lock it up. But I do feel a bit like a failure. All right, for let's Connor. go. Leave me alone. He's gonna. Oh. Don't touch me. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Intervene. Move. Intervene. You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this. Got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. Intervene. You don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I think you want to intervene, but that's causing his stress levels to go up. I'm gonna keep doing it though. I, what do I have to lose at this point? I can't point? let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That's enough. Mind your Hank own warmed. business, Hank. I said that's enough. <laughs> You're not gonna get away with it this time. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. I can't believe they would do that. I'm actually surprised. But that doesn't register as deviant behavior on my part? To defend another android? Software instability. Never mind, it does. <laughs> Not full deviant yet. Wow, okay, oh my gosh, okay. I know, I know, don't look at me like that. So many mistakes were made. I don't even wanna say mistakes were made. I think that even in that final situation, right, the intervene after intervene, and then you have one final choice to intervene. The problem, not the problem, but the difficult part in this game is knowing how much you have to push past something. So when we were convincing him, right? Like we were trying to do this like back and forth. I'm glad I stopped because I kept pressuring. I kept pressuring. He was so close to self-destruct. Didn't. I cooled it down. What I needed to do was like bob back and forth, you know, like be rude, then sympathize. I also looking back would have gone for wounds. I would have gone towards wounds. And then part of me is like, what happens if you have no stress levels on him does he then confess no matter what let me see let's see suspect found in partners suspect found in partners oh yeah in the other section oh because sometimes oh you can miss this entire scene if you don't find him is it even possible not to find him i don't know public opinion skeptical skeptical software instability question hank that endeared us to hank that's what's strange to me. And then also the other guy looked at him and said, you're not going to do this again. So what Hank maybe has a history with sympathizing with androids, perhaps? Huh. All right. So we analyzed the android, which 95% of people did. Reviewed the photos, 38%. Yeah, if I didn't walked around him, I wouldn't have saw those. Convince, pressure, give up. Yeah, and then I gave up, and then convincing failed. I'm really disappointed with the convincing failed. I thought once you got it in that, like, stress bar, then it would have been completed. They wouldn't have kept pushing you beyond. But I kept getting opportunity after opportunity, and I just failed to stick with... Maybe also because I didn't stick with one solid method that caused it to. Mm. Chris intervenes. Yeah, so Chris intervenes. And then I, inter yeah, so we intervened and then Android was sent back to its cell. Probably looking at the other four results, he could be committed for murder. He could have self destruct probably two self-destruction routes if I had to guess, but he's alive. And I'll be right back. 
controller is charging yes i know i just need to get one of those charging docks that whenever i'm not on they're charging you know uh so one last thing on this segment these are really short segments as well but one last thing with this whole section is connor is definitely taking longer to become deviant right but i do think that's intentional with his storyline to show that it each android has a different breaking point they all seem to be susceptible to the same not the same thing but the same emotions right like they're feeling these emotions but some specific emotion triggers each android i think before i kind of said oh the love for the person or the love for the love for the child or the love for um carl right but i'm not sure if that's actually it i think that there's more emotions behind it and i'm wondering if it is love right or that feeling of connectedness to somebody that pushes them to go deviant i'm wondering what it will be for connor i can't predict that all right so we've got carl 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 anna maverick and the last what was it Clones? The something something dark side. Right, we hopped on the bus, which I think we didn't have to hop on the bus, if I recall. Thank you for using Detroit buses. <gasps> mm. All right. End the line. End of the line. Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. Alice Warren? Wake up. We have to go. Where are they gonna go, though? He also doesn't seem bothered that they're not in the android compartment. Maybe because if you have a human with you, then you don't have to sit in the android compartment like you're traveling with, because obviously he's probably like, oh, she's like a nanny or the caretaker. Shelter. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Yeah, she doesn't feel anything. We'll find somewhere to spend the night. Oh, they did a good job. She looks so cold, like down to the bone. Come on, Alice, we've got to hurry. Find shelter for the night. I just want to see as far back as we can go. Okay, I can scan, right? Oh yeah, we can scan to look for shelter. I guess like oh yeah, no shelter there. Yeah, never mind, never mind. Let's cross this other side. Can we read this? No. It says no androids allowed. Loud and clear. What was that over there? I see three, okay, we have three options. Try talking to them. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? You know, some of them seem like really close to still being an android, like in their mannerisms and everything. Like, I feel like Kara almost completely blends in as human in her emotions and her face and her voice. I think it's more in her voice. Marcus feels like this in between, and then Connor still seems. Not, and going beyond like they're just being a deviant, right? Like to me, it's not even the deviant aspect of it. Like who's succumbed to it and who hasn't. I just feel like some of them play a really good Android, but that was probably even intentional. Okay, what is that? So there's an motel. 
comfortable but not discreet, and you will need money. So we don't have money. Uncomfortable but safe, how do we get in? Abandoned building. That. Very uncomfortable but discreet. But she just needs to be out of the rain, right? Open 24-7, can't sleep here. Ask for help, maybe? There's also one right there. Shop is closed. Suppose we can't go in a closed shop. Yeah. Closed. Won't be- won't open before morning. Oh, so we have to wait until morning for that? Open 24-7 but can't stay. We could at least see if we can grab her a jacket, maybe, in the laundry mat? Check motel, house, and parking lot. Whoa, 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 whoa. A hamburger's $12?! Yeah, let's see if we can get her some clothes. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Mm, maybe we can find money here, too, to be able to stay at the motel? Change of clothes, yes! Alright, we have laundry stuff. We can leave through there. Oh, there's a manuscript. Hold on. I'll get you a change of clothes in one second, sweetie. Century, the bee line to disaster. All right, let's test this. The bee line to disaster. Pollinating bees officially extinct. Aw. For decades, scientists and farmers foresaw the inevitable extinction of bee populations. Not the bee's knees. Despite these warnings, the Global Institute of Endangered Species announced at their Washington AGM yesterday that the wild bees are now officially extinct. Living specimens exit. Yeah, I know exist only in captivity. Bee numbers have been ravaged in recent decades by colony collapse disorder, where worker bees disappear, leaving hives which cannot feed themselves. Biologists confirmed that the CCD was accelerated by the overuse of pesticides in crops and parasites and pollution. Dun dun dun. The consequences of this cat uh, catastrophic event will, will be felt across the cotton industry. Fresh water supplies and most disturbingly agriculture, yep. Bees are so good for the environment. Environmentalist Kathy Linda has stressed the breadth of this news. The breadth of this news. One in three mouthfuls of food we rely on, or we eat, relies on population pollination of some kind. Sorry, I'm a mess today. The resulting famine will lead to millions of deaths worldwide. CyberLife, in cooperation with GIES, have come forward with plans on creating robotic bees. Some are pursuing non-robotic approaches, such as Detroit's urban farms currently experimenting with modified strains of bee produced in captivity, but there is no guarantee they will thrive. I feel like in captivity, there's no way. Gossip Weekly. My husband got an android- what? My husband got an android pregnant? Story inside. It's time to face the music, live concerts, to make a comeback. Ten ways to please your man and keep him. <laughs> For the younger generation, watching concerts in VR has become the norm. That would be so weird. How is it at all feeling like the same thing? And who wouldn't want to slip on a VR headset and enjoy the show from the best seat in the house? It's cheap, safe, and no-hassle solution to watching your favorite performers. But live music is about to be de-revolutionized. Nina and Kazook Music have launched a campaign to bring back old-school concerts with live audiences in front of performers in the flesh. Chuck Morrison, wow, NKM spokesperson, explains the culture of going to live concerts I like that there's a change in the background noise, actually. Going to live concerts is a thing of the past, but we want to bring it back. Oh, it's retro. Of course we want to bring it back. Because everything always makes a comeback. Real music is when it's vibrating through your soul, surrounded by people who are experiencing the same thing. Now that we can agree upon. Oh, I don't think I fully read it. Hold on. Is it only the one article? Yeah, I think it's just a one pager. Oh, no, maybe not. Wait. Hold on. It's so sensitive. All right. One page. There we go. 
Break the Wall will be one of the first bands to take the stage. Performing in front of live audiences and getting an immediate reaction will be mind-blowing. This is <laughs> this is what music is supposed to be all about, says lead singer Baz Rudd. Rudd. The hype, the applause, the screams. You just don't get that sitting on your sofa. If this proves successful, NKM's next step will be to bring back music festivals, which should be music to fans' ears. That is cool to see that make a comeback. We all wanted to read about how an android got pregnant. Don't even look. <laughs> we all did. Laundry mat quality. All right, let's go grab her some clothes. I don't think I can comfort her. Let me look around. There's something over there too, but that person's sleeping and I don't necessarily want to steal his clothes. Oh, but there's nothing in here. Okay, so it is that one. I mean, maybe, oh, okay, maybe we don't have to steal. Probably have to steal. Find it interesting you can look in them, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's asleep. I don't have to. They're not our clothes. Shh, the malice. You need something warm, and I need to get rid of this uniform. But that's stealing. We can't do that. Oh. I'm not. I'm not doing it. I know I need to change this uniform. You're right. but we won't do it, okay? I can't corrupt Alice. I'm still. I, I know, it's, <laughs> wait, what if I try to open it again? Oh, I still get the option. Maybe I can get both, you know? Okay, don't steal, don't steal. Plus, what if he calls the cops on us or something? I, uh... What if this is the one bad thing we do? The one bad thing we do for survival. No, just because I'm an android and a deviant one, like they like to describe us, doesn't mean I have to- Come on, let's go. Lead a bad example. I know. I'll find clothes somewhere else. It will be okay. All right, good food, girl. But we don't have money for the motel and I think it will just raise suspicion. Right? It's forty dollars to spend the night in the motel. No androids allowed. So yeah, I would have to change clothes, steal money, and then we'd be able to stay in the motel. In? We have to find forty dollars and get rid of this uniform. Or go somewhere else. Does she want to go somewhere else? Sleep in motel question mark get forty dollars find clothes i mean we do know where the clothes are i say we explore all of our options first and then i'll decide the route that i want to go there's two things i can actually look at that rebuild southwest detroit i like the crosswalks it's cool how they're lit up like that okay let's look at this one an abandoned house at least we'd be out of the rain. And we wouldn't have to steal anything. Cara, I don't like this place. I know. But it's just for one night and no one will look for us here. Can cut fence here with a wire cutter, but we'd need a wire cutter. And then we'd squat in a random house and she doesn't feel comfortable in it. That's what's frustrating is so why don't I just steal? I should just steal. I should just steal. This isn't getting us anywhere. I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna steal it. I know what she doesn't want me to do. What is it showing? It's showing us right here, right? Oh. It's just closed for the night. Okay, come on. Uh. Am I leaving her here? Alice? Alice, you're freezing cold. 
I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. What? But that's on the other side of town. We need a place for tonight. question what was alice looking at how where did he go <laughs> how did we miss that whole conversation <gasps> maybe there's clothes yeah maybe there's something in the trash bins oh but it just emptied it didn't it yeah oh it's the route over there oh we did see this the parking lot that's right i guess sleep in an abandoned car it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world i suppose Let's check the motel, or the, the mini mart. I just don't think I want to set a bad example. I don't want to- the store is still open. Maybe we should go inside. If At Alice- be out of the cold. If Alice and I have a bad relationship, she's not going to trust me, and then I'm going to get in trouble, and I think it would end up being worse. Much worse. So I need to keep her- Huh. Let me assess the situation first. Convince cashier to help. Oh. Hundreds of species, most of them now extinct. Chocolate. Chocolate donuts? Wait. Oh, like mini, like mini, mini chocolate donuts. Yes, Food for Alice. What else do we say? Do we say any clothes? Something about the sign looks like the Red Bull sign. Wire cutters. Mmm. Dried fruit. Vegetables? Lots of vegetables. Because I always go to the mini mart to find an eggplant. Oh, look at that soda. Soda flavored ice cream? I think that already exists, right? Definitely. Body care. It looks like the Red Bull sign, right? Frozen foods. TV dinners. Spring rolls. Spaghetti? Hmm. Oh, toy. Aw, we could get a toy. Oh, look, it's the same fox, right? Wasn't she playing with the fox? I wonder if I can steal it. Hmm. It's a lot of cigarettes. Oh. Oh, it just forced me to go back this way? Why did she look at him like that? Okay, I guess he's... Yeah, we have to interact. What do you want? I'm with a little girl, and we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look. This is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Maybe if we stole the clothes, there'd be money in the clothes? Steal from the cashier. Oh, I have a gun. I have a gun. She already said not to steal, though. Lemon juice. Oh, we can cause a distraction. Oh. Right? Wait, what did that just unlock? Can I not? Oh. The whole concept is to, to steal or not to steal. She's not going to want the toy if it's stolen. What if I had stolen the clothes and there was money in it, and then we were able to buy all the stuff? What did the lemon juice unlock for us? Let me see. Oh, check it out, check it out. There's there's multiple things now. Oh, wait, hold on, let me scan that again. Shoplift, rob cashier, or use Alice for diversion. There, oh. 
Oh. Well, I don't think we should rob him. I mean, I don't think we should, uh, like, hold him at... How do I use her as a distraction? Okay, here we go. Use Alice. I don't think she's gonna like that. Look at the cat food bag behind it. All right, do we use Alice? Do we steal? Do we steal and use Alice? Do we... Oh, either way, I have to get the pliers for the other section. And can I even get into the car? I guess I could get into the car. The parking lot? She wouldn't want to sleep in a car. I'm gonna use Alice, it. I need your help. You see those cans over there? I want you to go over and knock them down. We're doing knock this right in front of him. But why? Please. Alice, just trust me. Let me go this way. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Now go over here. Okay. And then you now right? steal. Now open. Are you hurt? Yes. Yes. I'm doing it. I'm well, doing it. Worry. I'm doing it. I'm doing Please it. It's just a few cans. Come on, let's go. And Alice didn't even see that we stole. Oh, shoot. Okay, that was not good. The motel, obviously. Fuck. I can't go to the men. Yeah, I can't go to the motel. He would know we'd go to the motel. We have we some cash now. You used me to steal that money. Oh. How could you do that? I trusted you. <laughs> I know. Apologize. Uncertain. Justify. Factual. She's a child. I need to appeal. Apologize. You're right. I shouldn't have done that. But do you want to stay in a creepy I'm sorry, Alice. I'll never do house? it again. Or do you want to stay in a motel? And, okay, he's probably gonna, oh no. There's a, there's something else. There's another option. Did you see that by the way? There's a locked thing. Let's go try to, let's go try the car. Cause maybe we could find clothes in the car, possibly. I mean, I think I need to take the situation for what it is. Yes, it's great to have Alice's approval. Awesome. I love it that she likes us and she trusts us, right? We do need to maintain her trust, but she is a child. She's freezing cold. I don't think she understands the, like, weight of this situation. But I don't want to stay here either. I know I'm opening this. Hopefully this doesn't lock us into this choice. I just think if we stayed at the motel, they would find us. He looked at the hotel. I felt like it was a warning. Wire cutters. So we don't, we didn't have to steal. But now we have money, so. Oh no. Are there any clothes? I feel like I see something in the front seat. It looks abandoned. Uh, I'm gonna break it. It's gonna be a loud noise, though. Stand back, Alice. Okay. It's gotta be some kind of clothes in here, possibly, or I guess we can just sleep here, yeah. Can sleep in car now. It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? Okay. We'll find somewhere better. I'm not staying in the motel. I know we took the money, but we, we can't stay in the motel. I think we should steal dry clothes. Because I need to be dressed as something else, right? She says she doesn't want to stay here. She doesn't want to stay in the creepy house. She wants luxury. That abandoned house is like one step up from where she was living to begin with. Or one step down. I sound insensitive. I think I'm just 
this is an impossible situation and maybe that's what it's trying to prove. It's like, you can't win no matter what. I stole from them. The other thing is it tells me that find dry clothes, right? Sleep in motel, we'd have to find clothes because, oh, okay. You only have to find clothes if you choose to sleep in the motel. So you choose to steal twice to be able, for the cost of sleeping in the motel. We do have bolt cutters now though. Let's see this opportunity. I'm a little worried, I'm, I'm just, once again, and I know I'm being over cautious and overthinking this, but I really do think after stealing as well, I feel like it's gonna be extremely suspicious to stay at the motel. However, if we stole the clothes too, I would definitely reduce my favor with Alice. But then if they call the cops, they wouldn't recognize us perhaps? I mean, how many mothers and children are staying there? I don't know. We'll see, if she says she doesn't wanna stay here either, then I'll go steal us some clothes and then we'll go stay somewhere nice. If she really doesn't wanna stay here. <laughs> what? Sorry, what? Oh, you have to hold it, okay. Are you all right? Hmm. Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Okay, we'll see how she says this. Don't close it on Alice. Is that the cops? Did he already worry, call the cops? Just having a look. I feel like we do hear cops being called, right? All right, we cut. So there's multiple ways we can look at this. Let's go back here. Is there anything to explore? Find a way in. Mm. This is in view of the car. I personally think the car would have been the best bet. Honestly. Oh, right there. Maybe you can climb up? No. Sketchy. Sketchy. I just kind of want to see the route if you steal. These games are always really difficult for me to play. Because <laughs> I have one side of me that wants to play it how I would handle the situation, and another because I'm curious about a certain situation. Can I not peep in through here? Love how that's where we chose to peep, not the eye level open. Alice? Alice? Talk- wait, wait, take Alice inside. House. What? Does she run back? Does she not want to stay here? Oh... Wait, what are you doing? Guy? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Uh... Justify, innocent, android. A uh, little girl. Innocent, innocent. I don't know what the humans did to you, but she had nothing to do with it. All humans won't hurt us. But Ralph won't let them hurt him again. No, he won't let them. Little girl. Android? Look, I'm an android too. We have nothing to be afraid of. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Look what they did to Ralph. Not the same droid as before. We do have the gun. We don't want to pull the gun, right? Insist. Okay. Leave. We'll leave, we'll leave. We're leaving. So you'll be safe again. Come here, Alice. <laughs> okay, we'll just go to the motel. Is he not gonna let us?
We have to find somewhere. How soon Anywhere, available? just a place to spend the night. Hang on, Alice. We'll find something, I promise. Okay, this is the best of both worlds, because I wasn't sure about the I wasn't sure about the house, but let's do this. Ralph? Can you try to re-enter? I'm assuming not, but I just wanna hold on. I doubt you can re-enter. But if we're gonna stay at the motel, I have to steal the clothes and she's gonna be mad at me. But it is what it is. Yeah, we can't. Yeah, we canceled that option. Maybe I should have appealed to him more and he would have helped us? Yeah, he would have helped us if I had actually tried to not be kinder. I don't know how to handle that situation. That's a good example of a droid that um, broke out, but I don't know. I think there's paranoia there. Okay, I know you're going to hate this, Alice, but I have to steal. Otherwise, we're never going to get into the motel. What if he catches me? I know what she said. Oh, sorry, I meant to say, I meant to steal. I wonder if there's an alternative way to get clothes. Don't close it, don't close it, it's too loud. What is this wombo combo that you're having me hold at the same time? Okay. Easy. This is not the place to have this conversation. Don't look at me like that, child. I'm trying to keep us alive here. Oh, see? She's not so opposed to it. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go right now. Right now. Right now. Mm -hmm. To the motel! I need to cover- okay, I am covering. Nice! And now we're covering our, um, circuit thing. Go to motel, go to abandoned car, keep exploring. Let's go to motel. I did not steal and show Alice the worst side of me for nothing. We are gonna give her luxury. Mm. Did it say card only or does it take cash? Hi. Hi. Hey. I'd like a room. That'll be $40. Up front. Just need your name and address. Shoot. Okay. Archer? Can I see your driver's license? Uh. Oh, it's in the car. I left it in the car. No worries. We can deal with it tomorrow. Woo! Okay. Oh. Archer. Have a good night. By the way, Archer. Can I? Let's go, Alice. I don't trust this. How many? Do you think he believed you? Mm. I don't know, Alice. All I know is you'll be nice and warm tonight. That's true. Let's explore this whole area, though. Make sure there's nothing else we can see. I wonder if we could have gone down here. I guess we could have gone down here. What if we could have found money? If there was a way to get the pliers for free, maybe there was a way to get clothes and money for free. Okay, I can't go that way. 
Right? There had to have been. <laughs> what does it say? Sound of Detroit. That's so cool. <laughs> I doubt there's anything we can do with these vehicles, though. Yeah. Vending machine. We have $10 to spare. We can get her food, too. I wish I had stolen her the... Now I'm on a steal... <laughs> now I'm on a stealing spree. I wish I had stolen her the, uh... The little stuffed animal, though. We should have stolen the stuffed animal, caused the distraction, stolen the money. Just steal everything. Okay, we're on the second floor. Yeah. <laughs> Cars chapter is longer than both of the other chapters together, probably because I made it. But I wanted to explore all my options. I really did. Okay, before we go there, are we sure there's nothing else we can look at? Just, oh, I can't go beyond. She's blocking me. <laughs> Clever game. Clever. Optimal temp. We do need to get her snacks, right? She's gonna be hungry. She's gonna be mad I didn't steal anything for her, but she's mad I stole. Lock it. Give me your coat. Hmm. She needs a warm bath. Oh. Hang my coat too? That's optional? You don't have to choose to hang your coat? <laughs> the pants. <laughs> it's the pants for me. Okay, I can probably look at myself. Like we do in almost any time. Yeah, we see the mirror. So what do we, every time, is there something slightly different? And how we see ourselves. Hmm. So interesting. Collect and dry Alice's clothes. I don't think there's any. Let's get these clothes off. They're soaking wet. Yeah, how? I'll just put these in the bathroom to dry. How is Alice handling this, you know? Like being, first of all, her dad dying, no matter how he was like, the death of her father, an android taking her. How is she feeling about this? Look at the wood paneling, oh my goodness. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. There we go. Maybe I did something wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just wanted him to love me. Hmm. Why couldn't we just be happy? I don't know. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. I feel like I can't promise that, right? But I actually mean it. I promise. Will we be together forever? Oh, forever. Yeah. Forever. Forever. I think interacting with kids is probably difficult, right? Because it has to be a balance of telling them what they want to hear and telling them what they need to hear to teach them hard, to teach them lessons, right? I mean, how many people are truly around for forever? I can't predict that. And it's not fair to her to lie, but... You should sleep now. Aww. 
I'm going to turn off the light, okay? I don't think there's anything else for me. I'm just gonna... Oh, oh, there is. I can peep out the window. Okay. No, 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 no. Look outside first. Okay. Close it all the way. Lock the door. The music. At least she can sleep sound, you know? Sleep tight, Alice. It's killing me that the covers aren't... Okay, wait, walk away. Get in bed, walk away. I don't... Well, I don't need to sleep, but also if I walk away, do I, do I get to watch for when... I give something more to approach. I think she's gonna be fine either way. I feel like I need to keep watch if something happens. Or maybe, oh, maybe, um, oh, there is something else. Oh no, I can sit in the chair or I can get in bed with her. I think that's my option, sleep here or sleep with her. I can't sleep in the secondary barrel? Okay, I guess we'll sleep, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna sleep on the chair. Yeah. I'm glad I got to see that option. What is the handprint on the headboard? Poltergeist? <laughs> you guys saw that, right? It's like greasy hand marks. Fugitives, 50% complete. Shelter, trophy earned. Look at all the different routes. Holy cow. <laughs> There's a lot of different, okay. There's a lot to digest here. Uh, looking back on that whole segment, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my actions. I think we did what was necessary. And I think that, um, just kind of like where you saw me go back and forth and why I was overthinking a lot of it was just realizing the situation, what was necessary to do the best for her. And sometimes that is the harder choice. That's not to say that stealing was the right thing to do. I think there were probably ways to get around maybe ending in the same result without having to steal things. Um, I'm thinking that just because we did find the pliers after all. Also, who's to say Ralph wasn't the right way to go? But I know that she was uncomfortable by the random house and by sleeping in the car. And so I think for Alice specifically, that's the best spot we could have ended up with her. I really think that was the best case scenario for Alice, her safety, not necessarily our safety together, because I have a feeling after robbing and asking for shelter, you're telling me he sees $50 goes missing and he's not calling the cops to go to the motel. I don't know. It seems a little suspicious. All right. So finding shelter for the night. Uh, we checked the squat, we checked the parking lot in the motel. What did I miss? Huh, there's a whole straighten that I missed. Oh, that fast tracks you through all of that. Huh. I wonder what it was. Okay, so we entered the supermarket. We left the toy. I wish I had stolen the toy. That was when I was still conflicted about stealing or not, before I decided to just like, screw it, let's just steal everything we can for her sake, <laughs> whatever. Um, but yeah, I wish I had taken the snacks, the toy, and the other thing, and just said, you know, I can repair my relationship with Alice later. This goes into just games like this can be really hard to determine how much your actions impact your relationship with other people. It might have temporarily gone down, but if she ended up in bed with her toy, her snack, and, you know, felt taken care of, would it have repaired all the damage we had done by stealing? Like, what are the implications from that? So we talked to the clerk. We noticed the can stack. Yeah. So we got the stealing option. Use Alice as a diversion. There was something else. There was another way to do it. Huh. Steal discreetly. 32%. And I wonder what the other thing is. If we don't use her as a diversion, what do we use? Also, the cameras. They caught all of that on camera. Yeah, that's not going to be good. There's a lot of other routes there. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe you can choose to... Um, maybe that's where you can choose to use the gun right to actually rob now i think maybe if we had gone the gun route i have a feeling that would have resulted in calling the cops maybe for him he just wrote it off and he was like okay android desperation i'm not worried about it screw it like i'm just gonna let these people get off they seem needy to begin with if they were that desperate to steal he maybe didn't feel like he needed to call the cops on us but if we had held him up at gunpoint probably then uh so we did take the wire cutters we cut the street fence 
There's another route to getting inside. Oh, maybe you can cut it from the other side, like from where the car was, because that was in the back side of it. We met Ralph. It looks like there's a massive amount of stuff that we, well, that would have ended the chapter too with Ralph. Ralph could have helped us. We give up and we leave the squad. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I don't think we really wanted to deal with Ralph. I feel like that would be trouble for us in the morning or whatever happened if he even allowed us to be there. I mean, he made it abundantly clear that humans, regardless of a child or not, didn't matter. Mm, leave parking lot, break into car, and then we found another option. Wow, so you could, there's a lot that could happen if you slept in the car. I wonder if you meet Ralph if you sleep in the car, because he's still back there, right? And then inside the motel. Wait, wait, inside the laundromat. Yeah. Wait, only 47% of people... Wait. 58% stole the clothes and only 47% wore the clothes? Huh. And then we left. Yeah. And we read the bee's knees and the face of the music. 26% of players make the promise. There's also two other options there. What did I miss? I thought I was scanning. I keep thinking I'm like exploring as much as possible. But apparently I'm missing a lot of stuff. Watch Alice from the chair, only 4%. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Okay, that tracks. That tracks, right? Because if only 28% of players... I see, I see, I see, right? If only 28% of players stayed in the motel, then the mass majority of people made the promise. So only like 2% made the... Not, like, chose to not make the promise. Yeah. Something like that. Something like that. Something, something dark side. Yeah, because if this is 58%, 32% from the 58% chose to steal discreetly. Okay, now I'm tracking that. Okay, well, that's another three chapters completed. This will probably end up being a little bit of a short episode just because I know the first two chapters were fairly quick. They did give Kara a lot of love here. I think that Marcus's chapters have been incredibly short. So I'm sure his story will kind of expand as we go along. But yeah, his chapters at the beginning have been short. I'm in the same spot. Kara loves Alice, and I think that's where a lot of her determination to figure out what's next for them comes from. Marcus loved Carl, truly. Like, you could see it in him calling him dad, right? Like, at the very end, that was extremely powerful. And then I would say Connor, to me... I think Connor is at the beginning of going deviant, right? Like we saw that when I know we chose to, right? But we chose to intervene and make sure that the android didn't self-destruct and didn't feel so high with stress. I think out of all three of these chapters, I wouldn't change anything I did in Marcus's chapter. In this chapter, to get, be completely honest, outside of stealing everything I could, being more evil, um, Outside of stealing more stuff to take care of Alice, I'm happy with the motel ending. I think I did what I did to keep us the safest and the best option given the circumstances. Who knows what would have happened if we stayed in a car? And Ralph, did we really want to put our faith in Ralph? I don't know. I do like his name. Uh, and then Connor. Connor's, I wish I could go back through and get the confession out of him. I think that was the only thing I regret is Connor's chapter. Not even regret. I just would go back and try to do that balance of the good cop, bad cop. And then ultimately, I would still step forward and help when they're trying to pull him out in that final moment. Um, really interesting, different cases of um, androids that have gone rogue, right? Like we saw Ralph. That's a new type. Uh, not a new type, per se, but that's a new example that we haven't seen before of what happens when androids go deviant right um there's levels to it even um oh what was the guy's name the one we were interrogating oh it's on the tip of my tongue no I, maybe we never got his name now that i think about it no we did we did uh we saw it for a second it was next to his yeah um either way same thing ended up killing his owner so we're getting a glimpse into a lot of different examples and situations of what androids going deviant would would do or how it affects their mind right and how each of them i think play off of certain emotions like i think there's always like the one situation that causes them to break so those are the ones that you kind of need to digest to learn a little bit more about the specific android but all right with that i've talked for far too long i rambled a lot during this chapter but like i said um 
I keep reminding you guys that, not keep reminding, but as a reminder, like this isn't my first playthrough, but that being said, I really do forget. Like I, th I think I'm trying to remember how these change compared to my first playthrough. I can't remember if I ended up with Ralph or I slept in a car. I think it was one or the other. But again, that's how little I remember this. But with that, I'm really enjoying getting to like relook at this game and see it as I am now versus what, four years ago? I think that there's a lot more to derive from it than I probably gave and paid attention to at the the first playthrough. So incredible game so far. Um, we're gonna keep the pace of just doing the three chapters no matter how long or short. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video and thank you for watching. Bye YouTube. I'm getting ready to, <laughs> bye YouTube. <laughs>